We have a warning tonight about a very tall and crafty thief who is looking for unsuspecting businesses and then ripping them off. He is targeting places in the Wicker Park neighborhood. Craig Wall spoke to one owner who says she is galled by what's going on and is hoping someone can help police identify the thief before he strikes again. Craig? Yeah, Jeff, you'd think this guy would be pretty easy to spot. He's about six feet eight inches tall, but not only is he very tall, he's also very slick, and he may have targeted five or more businesses looking for purses, wallets, and cell phones. I feel violated. Terry Visavati owns Urban Wellness, but she's feeling sick to her stomach tonight after getting ripped off by this man, a six foot eight inch guy who conned his way into her appointment only massage center in Wicker Park by buzzing the doorway and then showing up at her second floor business. Visavati was with a customer at the time, and another massage therapist left the man in the waiting room to attend to her client. He took my wallet, he took Amy's wallet, and he took her cell phone. Um, he then uh, left, um, and then I came out of the treatment room none the wiser. Didn't know he was ever even really here. She shared the man's picture and other information on social media and then learned she may not have been the only business targeted on Wednesday. He perfected it. Uh, you know, he had some practice, it seems like, before. I mean, he, he was wandering the neighborhood. I mean, the first uh, report seems to be about 1 o'clock. Um, in the neighborhood, and then another report from a different neighborhood was earlier, like around 12, 1230. She says Health Source on Milwaukee Avenue was also victimized, allowing the man to go on a spending spree with stolen credit cards. I guess he used their credit card over at the Cricket Store and I believe at Wendy's. And then Amy's card, who works for me, um, he did try to use her card at one of her cards at a Nike, but it didn't go through, and that was a charge for about 800. Mine was about 600 almost. Ms. Avati says that she is hoping by getting the man's picture out there, someone will recognize him and tell police who he is so he can get put behind bars before he strikes again. Live in Wicker Park, Craig Wall, Fox 32 News. Jeff, back to you. All right, Craig, thank you very much.